and there's one, two, three, four, five different fast food places down my way. And they get so used to just automatically getting food from places because then they grow up not knowing how to do anything with it. How do we embed food education into the curriculum so it's not just an add-on? Kids almost without fail love coming to the garden and love getting their hands dirty love tasting these things. And when you introduce them to growing and explain to them about roots and shoots and I've seen Joe doing it, but that knowledge is, is empowering as well. Yeah, do you see their face? Oh, all right, I'm chopping this. Greater appreciation of how it's produced and how hard it is to get the, the quantities that we need. Team in the kitchen, our growers in the veg boxes, veg from local and, and Scottish producers. That money being spent in the local shop is, is supporting all of that. Generating money that's maintained within its community. We can say, oh yeah, we want to buy in all our greens from local farmers, but the simple fact is the local farmers aren't growing very many local greens. The assumption is we're just growing tatties and that's all you can grow in Scotland. So. We seem slightly detached even from, from what is possible in our climate. If you were to have 11,000 square feet of growing space, you know, directly underneath the city, then, you know, you're, you're drastically reducing your carbon footprint. Making sure that people in low-income areas have got access to, to good food being produced in the city. Food and create that kind of a resilience in the community and ensuring a supply of fresh fruit and veg. Meet the person who's grown your food. See where it's grown. Food becomes something that someone has laboured to create for you. You know, there's plenty of people that could afford the bit extra. Something's not ticked in their head to say, I want to contribute to you know, a better future.